our e-lesson package on web documentary. Brought to you by Amira, Ernie, Zenway. Before we launch into a crash course on Essential, team around three main content areas. Here are some navigation pointers to guide you along. All you have to do is sit back and enjoy the show for now, really. Then feel free to browse over to other topics by clicking on them in the final slide to gain a deeper understanding of this topic. Last but not least, we welcome your feedback to make this learning experience better, so do give us your comment below. Now, with the navigation of the way, let's launch into the content. You don't need anyone to explain to you what a documentary is, but let's hear from a Wikimedia journalism major anyway. A documentary is based on the recreation of an actual event, era, life story, etc. that purports to be factually accurate. The social function a documentary fills involves a combination of expertise and trust, yet, in the end, the outcome is inevitably subjective. It depends on the perspective of the watcher and what he chooses to glean from it. So, what about the web in web documentary and how does this make it different from what was described? Intuitively, a web documentary is an online documentary that employs image, text, sound and videos as a new way of st telling stories on the internet. These are non-linear narratives that allow you, the viewer, to move through the story whichever way you desire, exploring components that interest you the most. While a traditional documentary exists to present a singular, linear narrative by virtue of the way a journalist undertook its construction, a web documentary is fundamentally changing the way the storyteller relates to the reality, or rather the perception of the viewer. Most importantly, the birth and renewed interest in web documentaries throw the misconception that the internet is Twitter, that everything has to be shot and a video cannot exit five minutes out of the window, just as what we are trying to achieve with our web e-lesson. The web documentary plays on the strength of the digital space in interactivity and audience participation to support narrative journalism or stories written for print by developing journalistic narratives with images at the center. As can be seen, web documentaries are pushing the envelope in making real interactive cinema, which, has, which was long thought to be the pipe dream. These new technologies bring with them both possibilities and challenges which we will now look at briefly. First of all, where traditional documentaries dis distinguish itself by conveying an opinion and a specific message alongside facts, a web documentary makes available more space and time in service of this objective, making it possible to see what lays beyond the camera angle which is the limiting factor in these traditional standard formats. This means that both the individual and the community are better empowered to give representation, self-representations of themselves online. To cite an example, there is a segment in Nowhere Safe, a web documentary where it evokes a dialogue between photography and audio to tell the story of 3.6 million men and women in France living in precarious conditions due to poor housing. But the narrative basically zooms into the same story of a man's face over a span of four minutes. This works because the audio draws people in it makes people pay attention and the visual elements on the screen helps to contextualize the narrative by refraining from the use of a video and its accompanying movements and motions the web documentary allows you to focus on the guy's voice and the fragility of his tone conveying the emotional state of this man without showing his vulnerable state that, have, that might have been too cruel and too voyeuristic through this and the other means, individuals and communities will feel safe at ease in relating their stories and letting the documentarian into the world, creating deeper narratives for the audience that simultaneously give more autonomy to the subjects of these documentaries. In this process, the latter is able to speak and capture their own stories better. For the audience, 
One is transformed from the passive receiver into active participant as well. A web documentary demands the audience participation and interaction because different events and documents are not represented to you in a coherently perceived linear fashion on screen. Rather, they are laid out across different windows and layers. While the audience of a documentary film is an inactive spectator of a sequence of images that lay outside his control, web documentaries exhibit their data in a digital space, inviting you to move through and explore your documents at your own pace and liking. As a result, you proceed through these materials and retrieve information through your own participation which greatly enhances one's level of interest and feeling of involvement with the narrative presented. This makes a web documentary a powerful tool for the activist journalist looking to instigate change through storytelling. Now that we covered two main advantages of web documentaries, we shall turn to the multi-fold challenges that they pose as well. Principally, a foremost matter of concern is the production cost. For example, a prison valley, a wet documentary exploring the prison industry can at a hefty price tag of 240,000 euros. Funding, an area of struggle for independent filmmakers in general, is particularly difficult for documentarians. The problem is further compounded for wet documentarians since their work often defined traditional conceptions of film, presenting a dilemma between reaching out to documentary funds or organisations that support new media. Their falling outside foundations narrowly defined scopes often renders web documentaries ineligible for fundings as well. Thankfully, the saving grace of web documentaries in this respect is that they can be cheaper to produce in comparison to traditional documentaries. For instance, High Rise Out My Window, a 360 degrees project which allows you to view real life scenes and situations in locations around the world could have cost $750,000 if done as a film than the $150,000 it had taken for the web documentaries. Next, web work often pose a technical challenge to traditional documentarians, making collaboration another key challenge. By putting together a diverse group of individuals with different expertise such as filmmakers, technologists, artists, cartographers and many more, how can these people build a common language and collaborate in spite of their different technical sensibilities and priorities? Further, the act of inviting audience members to contribute ideas, media or time to a project introduce various legal and ethical implications. Last but not least, bandwidth on the viewer end is definitely a challenge. This much requires no further explanation. Through all this, it remains evident that the web documentary is all poised to be a game-changing innovation rather than a gimmick. And we invite you to continue your exploration on this topic in depth through the other section that you can click on from the slide next to this.